90% of women that go through the menopause gain weight, 90%. However, that doesn't mean you have to just accept it. It doesn't mean that you have to gain weight. A lot of the women that I speak to that end up working with us, join my free group, um, they say, I haven't changed anything. I do exactly the same as I've always done and I've, I'm gaining weight, I've gained weight. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, then you'll know that the only way to lose body fat is to be in a calorie deficit. This does not change during the menopause. It's exactly the same. And despite what you might read, what you might see on the internet, there are no specific diets, no specific exercises that specifically work for women going through the menopause. Fat loss is exactly the same. However, there are things to be aware of during the menopause. So typically menopause can infect can impact your mentality it can increase anxiety it reduces uh, women's ability to manage stress there's an increased risk of osteoporosis obviously sleep is impacted which can impact appetite all of these factors have a role to play and this is why we focus specifically on helping menopause women but we don't use any bs you don't need to and you can't balance your hormones you don't need to worry about any of that stuff fat loss still works the same way now you're probably still wondering okay well why is it that i nothing has changed but i'm now gaining weight since i've gone through the menopause well the reason that women start to gain weight during the menopause is there's multiple reasons one of the biggest reasons is due to a reduction in your neat um, and essentially a reduction in your movement. So if you haven't watched any of my videos before, your total daily energy expenditure, the amount of calories you burn in a whole day, okay, is broken down into sections. The two biggest sections are your BMR, which contributes about 60% of your calorie needs. So literally just lying in bed and your brain working, your heart working, your organs working, that burns the most calories. The next biggest portion is called NEAT, your non-exercise movements, your blinking, your fidgeting, your walking, the stuff you don't really think about that's involuntary. Well, as you probably realize or know, as you go through menopause, your energy levels dip because of the hormonal changes, you have less energy. This impacts those involuntary movements. It impacts how much you move. You're more likely to sit down more. And this has a bigger contribution than exercise. So if you're moving less, just in general, then you're going to burn less calories. So straight away, you're burning less than you probably used to. The second thing is, as we get older, our basal metabolic rate, so that, that biggest portion becomes less and less and less and less. The reason being is we lose muscle mass as we age. Now you can combat that, you can build muscle, you can stop uh, the loss of muscle mass. This is quite a complex area because it involves talking about sleep, stress, exercise, diet, they all play a big role in maintaining muscle mass. And the other thing that you need to be aware of is that as we go through the menopause, or as you go through the menopause, not me, your appetite might increase as well. And this can be subconscious. It might be a little bit of snacking here or there that you don't account for. If you're not writing down everything you eat, if you're not fully aware of what you're eating, you definitely could be eating more than you used to. So there is nothing magical that happens necessarily during the menopause, which means you've just magically gained weight. Fat loss, fat gain happens exactly the same for all people, irrespective of age, medical conditions, whether you're taking medication or not, there are just things that will impact your energy expenditure and how much you consume. So you need to be aware of those things and change those now, before I go, I just wanted to add one more thing. Now, you're probably asking, okay, well, why is it getting stored around my belly? I never gained belly fat before. Now, as I talked about already, there is a reduction in your ability to cope with stress as you go through the menopause. And you may also have more stress because of this uh, impact it has on the brain in terms of increased anxiety, increased stress. So unfortunately, when the body is stressed, we have elevated levels of cortisol. If we are... Um, stressed quite a lot if it's chronic then that elevated levels of cortisol can lead to any additional body fat so as we talked about you may have reduced your expenditure your energy expenditure you may have increased the the amount you eat subtly therefore you're going to gain body fat but because of this additional stress and cortisol in the body you are more likely then to store and gain that fat in the stomach area um, and that's it it, 
you don't need to worry about cortisol. It's not something that um, you can do much about into any, or you should do much about. However, you do want to focus on stress management techniques. And this is why in our program, it's a completely holistic program. We don't just look at diet. We do look at making sure that you do manage your stress. You do improve or optimize your sleep because all of these will play a role in maintaining muscle, which is going to help your basal metabolic rate. And it will help with not storing fat around your stomach area. I uh, hope this helps. If you've got any questions, as always, drop them in the comments below.